I'm about to show you how I get everything in my life done and how I save money at the same time. So you may have heard before how important systems are. So the systems that we put in place in our daily lives help us to reach our goals and also can help us save money in the meantime, which happens to be one of my main goals. <laughs> So if you're new here, my name is Rebecca. This channel documents my family's journey to get out of nearly $130,000 worth of debt. So in this video, I'm going to show you the system that I have put in place. It's a typical week of how I manage my time and my tasks as a wife, a mom, a registered nurse, and a small time uh, beginner YouTuber, and how this system actually helps me stay on my budget. See if you can figure out what my secret is for getting everything done by the end of the video. It's actually pretty obvious. <laughs> It's Wednesday. So in this video, I'm going to show you the system that I have put in place. Um,
my week. So could you figure out what my secret is? It's pretty obvious, like I said. My secret is breaking big weekly goals into small daily manageable tasks. Because in my personal opinion, it's horrible to have to do a week's worth of laundry in a single day or try to clean the house in a single day or do a YouTube video from scratch in a single day. But if you break your bigger weekly goals up into smaller tasks, you know, even when stuff comes up, which I mean, in my case, it always does with two kids, uh, it's a little bit easier to kind of move those tasks around to other days in the week that, uh, you know, you might have a little bit more time to get them accomplished. It's not the end of the world or the end of productivity if you don't get to it because it's small, it's manageable, and it will be handled the next day or the day after that. <laughs> So a couple things that I find helpful to stay organized, typically I really just use my calendar on my iPhone and then I use Notion to kind of organize all of my YouTube stuff. So all of my um, content ideas, my video ideas, my scripts, and kind of my, my timeline for when I want my videos to come out, I organize that with Notion. Okay, another thing, use brainstorming sessions. So. You might have heard that like doing brainstorming sessions is a really good idea when you have a YouTube channel to kind of help you think of ideas for new videos. But I really think that brainstorming sessions is great just in everyday life. You can kind of figure out, you know, what larger tasks need to be accomplished and then, you know, set to start breaking them up into small, manageable daily tasks. So for example, I've decided that I want to begin my own kind of quasi minimalist journey. So I want to declutter the house. I want to pare down my wardrobe. I want to organize all of my belongings, but that's kind of a really big goal. <laughs> but if I start breaking it down and assigning small tasks to different days, it will eventually get done day after day, week after week. A few more side notes. This has been a typical non-eventful week in my life. <laughs> my weeks don't always look like this. The time my husband gets off of work fluctuates, which kind of influences when I do certain things. He cooks dinner a lot, actually. Sometimes there's appointments. Sometimes we have to go grocery shopping. We recently did a big Costco grocery shop, so that's why there's no grocery shopping in this week. And then sometimes, you know, none of this stuff happens except keeping the kids clean and fed. <laughs> it's really just, uh, you know, a day by day process. But that's honestly the beauty of breaking things down. Things can be moved around, skipped, adjusted, and things still get done in the end. Things still work out. My house is usually fairly clean because of this system. We save money and stay on budget for the most part because of this system. I'm able to put out a YouTube video every week so far, which I really enjoy. And I'm slowly building my cardiovascular strength and muscle because the system is in place and I'm making slow but steady progress in Spanish. So really you can still meet the majority of your goals if everything is in a small manageable step. And I know that <laughs> this week's activities look pretty mundane and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes things really do feel mundane, but it's a great system for getting things done, for meeting your goals, for saving a lot of money. It's really not very glamorous. Making do with less to get out of debt. I mean, I make my coffee at home, I make the majority of our meals at home, and that really supports our budget. My hobbies are working out, learning Spanish, and making YouTube videos. My gym is at home, and my other hobbies have pretty cheap setups as well. And then I also don't use a ton of gas during the week because of these systems that are in place. So that also supports my budget. I mean, in reality, this is how we get out of debt. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.